Hi, this is Mrs. Novella, and I'm going to show you how to make a paper circuit. For this, you'll need a piece of foam board, an LED, a 3 volt battery, pencil, scissors, X Acto knife, and some copper adhesive tape. We're going to make a paper circuit that lights up with a button mechanism. And so before you begin, you'll need to trace the size of your battery onto the foam core with pencil and then use an X-Acto knife to cut out the circle as I've done in advance. Hold on to that circle because that's what's going to become the button later. So I'm going to remove that for now. When you begin, you'll look at your LED. And in the LED, there is a very small curved line that indicates which side of the legs is the positive side. But since it's so hard to see, what I do is I hold the positive side of my battery with my LED over it. And when it lights up, I know that this side of the LED, which is touching the positive side of the battery, is the positive side. So it's important that I do that test before I begin because I need to know which leg is positive and which leg is negative. When I determine that through testing it, I will insert my LED light through a hole that I create with an X-Acto knife. From there, what I do is I use my pencil to indicate which sides are negative and which sides are positive. I'm going to begin with the positive side, which is extending my tape down, connecting it over the LED, and carrying it down past my battery. And since I only need it to extend from here to here, I'm going to cut off my excess, and I'm going to need that excess for later, so I'll save it. So it has an adhesive backing. And I simply tape it from here to here. The next step is using that little piece that I cut off to cross over that and to connect to the button piece. So I need to insert it to make sure I know exactly where it fits. When you do this, you need to account for the fact that this button is going to be pushed from this side. It's going to be pushed over and over again. So I like to leave a little bit of slack where to create a hinge in between the, the button and where it overlaps. So you might see that I'm folding this a little bit to give it a little bit of slack. So that's your next step. If you don't do that, you will find that after pressing over and over, your tape might break and the circuit connection might get lost. So I'm going to tape here, then I'm going to leave a little fold that isn't taped, just a little extra, and cross it over. So I've got a little bit of wiggle room here. You can see it. Okay. Then my next piece of tape is my negative strip that is going to go over the LED and over the battery. All right, so I'm going to put it here and thread it down. But before I, before I lay that tape down over that, I'm going to pop open this button flap like this. And I'm going to extend it over like that. There. From there, I'm going to flip over my button. I'm going to insert 
my battery positive side up into the slot and then press the button. Voila!